Hello and welcome to the 50th video in the series Programming HS in an Engine in JavaScript. So this video we're going to look at the influence of the move ordering finally because we've implemented our pick move. I've changed in search position, I've changed the max depth to 3, you'll see why shortly. And I've also added just a couple of lines in here to print out how good our move ordering is, printing out the percentage that we failed higher, so had a beta cutoff on the first move in the list, so we picked the best move first because this is a good indicator of how good your, your move ordering is. Perfect move ordering is always on the first move in the list if there's a B to cutoff move. Obviously it doesn't apply if there isn't one, but if there is one, to have picked that move first. And generally 90% is, is, is good, considered good, and maybe 87, 88 or above is, is, is okay. So we'll see what we get through the next couple of videos. Another thing I want to say is I actually have uh, I did the f three videos in the future to get all of this completed and get the engine actually searching and solving some mate positions and found an enormous error which took a long long time to track down and it was in the move generator of all things despite the perf testing as a result there may be bits of code because I've had to undo all the code I did in finding the error which crashed the computer a few times with the amount of output, but um, I've had to delete it all and try and remember where it all was, so I apologise if there are bits in this code download that are lying about that don't belong. But the error is, is really bad. Um, in the move generation, both the capture generation and the generate moves, I had here on percent not equal to squares dot no square, but without an underscore. And the definition in defs.h is with an underscore. So I'm not a complete aficionado of JavaScript, but suffice to say it's still compiled. I don't know what it was comparing this then with without the underscore. But what it meant was is when a pawn was on H uh, on G uh, on H7, sorry, it was effectively then promoting to I8, which obviously doesn't exist. So one square to the right, promoting with capture. And this was a needle in the haystack job and took me, it, I found it in one of the mate in three positions. It was about 12 plies deep in the quiescent search. And I was having to print all of the move generation lists and squares, etc., to the console. And it took a long time to find anyway with a lot of debugging code. So that's corrected. Hopefully there aren't any other really silly errors like that inside the move generator. And now we can go back and get on with actually implementing some move ordering. So with this line in here like this, I just want to very quickly take a position. I have an FEM position here, which is just a middle game position. And if I just get the JavaScript console, and you'd be glad to know, I finally realized after 50 videos, you can separate the console window from the browser. I'm just going to paste in this function and now it's going to search to depth 3. So you can see that running now and we're waiting for it to hit depth 3 and it's taken 1.3 million nodes to get to depth 3 with an ordering of 55 percent. Well let's just bear that in mind now uh, and that's why I've reduced it to depth 3 because now to get to depth 5 we'd probably be waiting a couple of hours. So let's think about looking at the capture move ordering and the way we're going to do the move ordering of captures is we're going to do it at the top of move gen and we're going to do it using something called MVV and LVA. And this is most valuable victim, least valuable attacker. All that means is we are going to search the captures in the following order. Capture queen, and then capture rook, capture knight, uh, sorry, capture bishop, capture knight, I'm sure you get the idea, and a capture of a pawn. So any moves that capture a queen will be searched before any moves that ca capture a rook, and so on. And the last moves to be searched will be captures of a pawn. And these moves themselves will be searched with least valuable attacker. So first we'll search pawn que takes queen, then we'll search knight takes queen, and so on, all the way up to king takes queen. And we're going to do that the same for all of these, all of the rest of the pieces as well. So right at the top will be pawn takes queen, and right at the bottom of the list will be king takes pawn. So what we need is we need to be able to, instead of where the score is naught here, we need to now be able to assign a score that allows us to pick our capturing moves according to this scheme here. And that's what we're going to set up and implement in this video. So a bit of copy and paste here because it's not very difficult and it's the concept that's the better thing. I've got an array here now with the victim score. Or let's make this actually, call this um, MVV 
LVA value, which will mess up my pasting in, but it doesn't matter. So we'll call this the value of the piece. This is indexed by a piece type, and it gets a value here. And then we're going to make an array here, which is going to be indexed by 14 multiplied by the piece, then pl uh, the victim, sorry, and then plus the va the piece index for the attacker. Essentially, all that's saying is every combination of victim and attacker will have an individual index inside this array. So what we need to do now is make a function that actually initializes this array so we can start using it. And it's a pretty simple function, as you can probably imagine. We have a, a var attacker and a var victim. And all we're going to do is make an enormous loop, which simply says that we've got the attacker is equal to pieces white pawn. Uh, and the attacker keeps going whilst less than equal to pieces dot black king. So we take into account all the pieces. And we can do exactly the same and inner loop then obviously for the victim as well. So I'll just drop that in here like so and paste in victim. And all we need to do now is assign the score. And I'll assign the score and then I'll talk through how the score is being assigned so it makes some some sense. So the first thing we have is to get our unique index for our piece, well, our victim and attacker combination. So we'll do victim times by 14 plus the attacker. So the attacker, remember, is the capturing piece. And this score is going to be equal to the value of the victim plus 6. And this is where you're probably thinking A. Hey, and then minus the score of the attacker divided by 100. So you may think, okay, that makes not a lot of sense altogether. But if we have a very quick look at what values that will give us, let's take the let's just take a capture of a queen here, just to keep 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 things zipping along. Say we had a pawn takes a queen. So the victim is the queen, the attacker is the pawn. That means we would have a value for the queen of 500 plus 6 will give us 506. We would have then minus the value of the pawn, which gives is a 100, divided by 100, which is a 1. So that will give us then a value of 505. Let's say we had something like a bishop takes a queen, and I'm sure you already get the idea. We would have then 506 minus, and now we would have 300 divided by 100, which is 3. So this would then give us 503. So you can see that because we'll be picking the highest scoring move, that we'll be picking in this way a pawn takes queen before we pick a bishop takes queen. And all of the captures of a queen's are the 500s, then captures of rooks, the 400s, 300s, 200s, 100s. So therefore, captures of queens start first at the top of the list because anything with a 500 will be picked. So that enables us to maintain our order that we want to maintain for this MVVLVA. So now that remains to be done is to drop the initialization of this into our main, like so. And then is to go back into movegen.js and actually add on the scores here for the move in question. So if we go down to add capture move and take this zero off and just go onto a new line here and now going to say that the score is equal to and remember we want the victim which in our case is captured of the move multiplied by 14 plus the piece that's on the from square at the moment. So gameboard.pieces and we'll take from square oops like so. So that's our index. And the other thing we're going to do is we're just going to add on, and you'll see why when we start adding the killers and the history moves, a million to that score. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the capture score now assigned in ML, MVV LVA order. The only other thing I'm going to do is where the on percent scores added is do 105 plus one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the reason for that is we know that a pawn takes a pawn will give us a value of one, oh, five and the on percent is a capture. Okay, so now that's done, we can actually go back into our search, well indeed back into our console, and I can refresh the console now 
and actually put the same position in and see what we get. Remember that we had 1.3 million nodes here. So if I just refresh the console and paste in this value and hit search, and now you can see we've taken just 5,000 nodes with an ordering of 91% to get to the depth three. So we've gone from 1.3 million nodes down to 5,000 nodes to get to depth three. So things were already looking pretty good there. And in fact, what I could do now is just go back into the search uh, code here and let, let's fix this depth now at a depth of five, bring the console back and just um, refresh the position and hit uh, search, oops, no FEN, hit search. And now you can see depth five is coming in 268,000 nodes with an ordering of 87%. So it's not perfect, but it's all right. Another thing that might be um, of interest briefly to you as well is uh, I've got a position here from a file called win at chess, which is um, a mate in three position. If I leave that running now, the mate is queen to g6. And indeed, you can see 28997 is mate in three. The program has found mate in three with queen to g6. So it seems to be solving mates fairly well. I've got one more here to try, which is queen takes h7, which is the one where I ended up finding the uh, bug. If I just put this one in as well, again, you can see it's found the mate straight away. So it's also finding uh, checkmate positions okay, and things are looking pretty good. But the speed up that you get from improving the move ordering you've seen is absolutely dramatic. And captures is the biggest one of them all because, as you can understand in chess, often if you've just lost your queen and then you're looking at all the other quiet moves, well, there's probably really no point because, well, you've lost your queen. Okay, so that's it then for this video. Uh, the next video, we're going to look at adding in the code for the... Uh, the history and the killer heuristics to improve the move ordering a little bit more. So thanks very much for watching. Sorry about the error with the no, uh, no square and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.